As the Speaker of the House of Representatives, yes. someone that I am pleased and privileged to serve with, someone who I think cares deeply about the nation, who cares deeply about the institution, who cares deeply about the economy of our country, who cares deeply about your, your family, your kids, your grandkids. Someone who aspires for the same goals and the same objectives and achievements we all want. A stronger economy, a more vibrant nation. Mm -hmm. But most of all, he wants a Senate and a President that he can work with. Yes. Yeah. And we in New Hampshire have to deliver on So please join me in welcoming our Speaker, the Speaker of the House, John Bader. And the really big one is to thank all of you for all the work that you're doing uh, on helping the Republican team. Uh, Mitt Romney uh, appreciates what you're doing, and Paul Ryan appreciates what you're doing. Let me tell you what, Frank is, a, is doing a great job as a brand new member of the Congress, one of our 89 freshmen. Second back. Well, uh, Nancy, uh, Nancy Pelosi's working hard, uh, even though... <laughs> Now, even though we won 65 seats uh, from the Democrats over the last uh, two years, I uh, surely have to win 25 seats uh, to get my job back. Oh. Let me tell you what. The only way she's going to get the, that gavel is to pry it out of my cold, <laughs> strong hand. Now, you heard, uh, you heard people in the political circles talk about uh, the upcoming election over the course of your lifetime as being the most important election of their lifetime. Well, guess what? They were wrong. The most important election of our lifetime is going to happen this November. Because the American people can't handle four more years of Barack Obama's economic policies. His policies have failed. They've actually made things worse. And as a result, they can't run on his record. And so they're going to try to run on everything but their record. Now, last uh, Wednesday night, I thought Governor Romney did a great job. Uh, during his practice rounds to make sure he was on the ball. Uh, and when the president, uh, you know, had some inaccuracies, <laughs> Governor Romney was able uh, to point those out respectfully and politely and lay the facts in front of the American people. And the other thing, if you watched the, the debate closely, is that Governor Romney continued to come back to the economy, come back to the economy, and yes. come back to the economy. Yes. Why? Because the American people vote with their wallets. Uh, this is election, an election uh, about uh, getting our economy going again and getting the American people back to work. Mitt Romney's created hundreds of thousands of jobs. He understands how to create jobs. He also understands what big government can do to, to uh, destroy jobs in our country. And so having uh, him out there with his plan and talking about his plan and staying focused on his plan is exactly what needs to happen. Or as I like to say, uh, he made the sale the other night. And he made the sale in a big way. out today, battleground polls, where you've got Democrats and Republican pollsters who do these polls together. And 73% uh, of the people in uh, the battleground poll, well, this was the Gallup poll this morning, 73% of the people who watched the, the debate uh, thought that Mitt Romney won. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Well, how about this? How about 63% of the Democrats who watched the debate thought that Romney won? regular guy with a big job. A lot of you probably don't know, I've got 11 brothers and sisters and my dad owned a bar. Right? I'm the last guy in the world who ought to be a member of Congress, much less the Speaker. But, you know, I, I like all of you, grew up in America. A country where you can grow up and be anything you want to be and do anything that you want to do. I was lucky enough to be able to work by myself uh, through school like many of you. Was able to get into a small business and buy it and grow it into a successful business. And along the way, I got involved in my neighborhood homeowners association. Hmm. And I ended up as Speaker of the House. <laughs> <laughs> this too can happen to you. <laughs> you know, I got involved uh, because I thought it was time for people from the real world to take a more active interest in their government. 
And when I went there as a small business person 22 years ago, I went there to fight for a smaller, less costly, and more accountable government. Now, I got to tell you, I don't feel one bit differently today about who I am or why I'm there to fight for a smaller, less costly, and more accountable federal government. Let me tell you what. We live in the greatest uh, country uh, the world has ever known. Why? Because the Americans have had the freedom, the freedom to succeed, the freedom to innovate, the freedom to try, and yes, we've also had the freedom to fail. But that freedom has served our country well, and it's created thousands and millions, if you will, uh, opportunities for all of our citizens. None of us would be here today uh, if uh, we didn't live in a country like this that provided those opportunities for all of us. Uh, our job, and that's those of us elected and those of you in this room, our job, is to make sure that these kids here have the same look at <laughs> We'll make sure that these kids have the same opportunity that we have. And to do that, that means that we need an economy that's growing, that's creating those opportunities uh, for all of our citizens. God bless you. Keep up the great work, and God bless America.